Hello everyone. I welcome you to this session on how to crack your dream IT job on campus in 6 months. Before beginning there are some points which I would like you to note. This is a 15 minute long session and we request you to watch this session until the end. And during the session you are free to you know post all your doubts in the chat box and we will get back to you within 24 hours with solutions to your queries. Also this webinar session would be beneficial if you are currently studying in the pre final year that is third year any branch. So it does not matter if you are from an IT branch, CS branch or a non IT branch. For example a mechanical civil triple E C any branch third year student and if you are passing out in 2020 this webinar will be really really beneficial to you also if you are attending this session using a mobile phone please use your earphones for the best hearing experience now before beginning we would also like to talk to you about face i would like you to know a little more about us we are an iim graduates enterprise which means our founders are from indian institute of management we have been in the industry for the past 10 years very recently we celebrated our 10th birthday so in the past decade we have trained over 25 lakh students we have presence in across 1500 colleges in the country we have we go to colleges we train students we do online training we help them get up skill we help them get placed not only students we are also present among companies which means we provide corporate training to 60 plus it companies right and we are an official proud member of nascom which is the apex body for the indian industry right let us begin guys so uh, how to crack your dream id job on campuses in six months this is the question in front of you what i'm going to talk to you about is why six months is required why are why am i stressing on the term six months and what exactly you would be doing in these six months to get your it job so basically i will be telling you what is the significance of six months why is why are six months required and what are your action items what are you planning going to be for these six months right now uh, what has changed with it services company recruitment so this webinar is for people who are interested in getting placed in it services companies uh, there are some examples of it services companies there i would like to talk to you about what has changed in the placement pattern in the hiring pattern for these companies let us begin let us look at the first factor which is demand and supply so what has changed guys let us understand placement scenario in 2000 number of students who were eligible for placements used to be 4.5 lakhs but the number of jobs on offer used to be around 2.5 to 3 lakhs but currently the placement scenario stands at this number of students who are passing out and eligible for placements rather are 8.5 lakhs but the number of jobs on offer are 4 to 4.5 lakhs so if you look at the difference i'm talking about somewhere between uh, 1.5 to 2 lakhs and here the difference is 4 to 4.5 lakh think about this guys these are the number of people who would not have jobs and this is why it becomes important to realize that the demand and supply equations have changed number of students up for jobs have increased but the number of jobs haven't increased that much you have to understand that demand and supply this has changed so you require to be more competitive your competition has increased right next hiring methods so earlier companies used to visit your campus and recruit students currently also a lot of companies do visit campuses but the trend is changing companies are moving on to national level test so tcs is conducting something called tcs ninja right even even wipro for that matter has an lth national level talent and it's called wipro elite nlth and i won't be surprised if other companies such as infosys uh, capgemini uh, accenture cts they also shift to su such modes of recruiting conducting national level test so this means guys okay, so earlier you used to compete with your own college students but today your competition has increased this this is the competition you are facing and you are one who has to make a difference so this is you and your competition Ha, just look at this factor guys so your competition is practically the entire nation you have to understand this you has to be your your preparation has to be spot on you cannot prepare the same way your seniors would have prepared earlier preparation used to be different now preparation modes have changed you have to be thinking differently right because your entire competition has changed like any moving on guys the next factor what has changed is aptitude so earlier what used to happen was earlier you know just just have a look at this question guys if once you have a look at this question this is an actual tcs ninja question earlier what used to happen when students used to sit for placement they used to get print outs and they would have to go through all the questions and a lot of questions would be repeated from the same print out but today things have changed the 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 questions don't get repeated as much a uh, new new questions are coming up so this means you can't just really mug up questions like anything you have to get into the depth and understand the fundamentals the concepts behind those questions 
the shortcut methods of solving those questions unless and until you understand that perfectly and fully you would not be able to solve any question that comes to you so you have to be preparing certain way so when i say aptitude right you have to be trained in all these you have to be trained in quantitative aptitude verbal aptitude and logical reasoning and the training has to be in such a way that any question that comes in your exam for any test you are going to answer it that is what i'm talking about guys this becomes very important so you can't rely the same way your seniors used to prepare think about it earlier they used to just prepare for say one month and they used to get placed but today that is not the case you have to be preparing very very hard questions are not as direct right and the variety of questions has increased as well so you have to change your placement aptitude preparation methods you know in fact in a way i'm going to also tell you how you're going to change them and what is it that you actually require in your training to make sure that any question that comes in you will be 100% sure about solving that question so let's move on to the next uh, next factor guys which has changed is technical competency so just have a good look at this image guys i want you to have a good look at this image so what these are the uh, these are a group of sprinters or racers in a race this is what industry requires and this is what you might have in terms of your technical competency now earlier if if you used to be here if you used to be in this position or this position companies used to recruit you and they they would train you and then finally get you to this position to get, to get you deployed on projects but today that is not the case today they are looking for skilled candidates who already have a, tech, a competency so that a lot of training is not required to get you placed there so even the questions that are asked in the interview or technical rounds they are they are currently very much in depth questions earlier they used to be shallow only surface level questions even non csit students are are expected to know polymorphism they are expected to know fibonacci series all of this and today think about it so many things have changed today you don't have to write codes on a paper you will be actually given a compiler there are technical rounds that are coming up there are uh, actually coding rounds that are there in it services companies placements so you have to be prepared for all of that without such preparation you cannot be expecting yourself to clear a te- that technical round how will you ever get selected then so technical competency is something that companies want the students to be very very skilled at you need to understand how to write pseudo codes algorithms you need to be good at data structures problem solving coding syntax all of this you need to be sure at that right so technical competency what do you have to prepare on Progr- problem solving in c language oops with java data structures and algorithms these are only a few of them but you need to be very very sure in that you have to be an expert in these at least when i say expert you have to have more knowledge now you have to be skill at these right the final thing which has changed is communication skills guys this this is the fourth point which has changed speaking writing and presentation these are the three core aspects of communication skills companies need their prospective employees to be good at these for you need to speak well with your peers with your colleagues with your clients overseas writing skills email writing even even wipro tests you on writing skills presentation skills later on you will be re- required to give presentation on your projects you have to be good in presentation skills all of these skills they are required to be built or else what would happen is you reach your final you, you reach your final round the hr round you are tested on these basically if you are not able to clear the final round you don't get called for a company so if you are able to clear the aptitude round technical round but in the hr round if you don't have communication skills the correct communication skills you won't be able to crack so my ultimate question to you at this moment is guys it requires time how much time do you think it will require to get you properly trained in aptitude get you properly trained in technical competency get you properly trained on communication skills group discussions personal interviews writing skills email essay resume and and this is your profile which goes into your resume you have to have a very strong profile as, as well in terms of academics the number of internships you have done the quality of those internships extra curricular certifications skills projects which has to be different from your fourth year project all of these have to be developed and these definitely require 6 months these can't be expected to be done in one month so your seniors might have told you that hey only it's only one month that is required but it's not i hope you clearly understand now that it's not you have to devote enough time and this is the correct time to get started see in a nutshell what this is this is this is the iceberg theory guys in a nutshell what we actually end up seeing is only this but a, a considerable 80% chunk of the iceberg is below water actually you need to learn properly you need to understand properly and then you need to practice properly this is your actual efforts but this is what it looks on the surface 
unless and until you do all of this you won't be able to reach on top and get placed and this is your placements we are talking about guys at the end of 2019 i would want you to get placed i would want you to have a job and this is a scenario that you have to avoid at all costs at the end of 2019 this is a scenario you have to avoid at all cost your best friend is placed your roommate or your flatmate is placed and you are think about it you don't have to be in this position guys if you begin training today if you begin your preparation today you will not be in this position but if you don't change your methods if you don't get aware today itself i i can tell you that getting jobs is actually getting difficult a lot of people used to earlier think that getting a job in a tcs or a cts or any it services companies for that matter used to be easier but that is not the case a lot of students even from csit they are not able to crack these companies you need to realize that things have changed and you need to work accordingly that is what i'm trying to say and when you work why don't you work with the with someone who has a proven track record why don't you train under someone who has helped so many students get placed why not prepare with someone who is the leader and an expert in this field i present to you face press placement prime program in which we train students in placement aptitude their programming skills and professional skills now very quickly i'll tell you what do we train them under quantitative aptitude verbal ability logical reasoning data interpretation the question types tested by it recruiters shortcut techniques approaches speed math test taking strategies all of this you will be trained upon so after going through our placement aptitude module as a part of this course you will be 100% sure of solving any problem that comes in because see your problem solving aspect of your mind gets developed right it's a natural process that will take place once you are through our program you will be able to solve the aptitude questions that come in the placement test of these companies talking of programming skills you will learn problem solving using c oops concept using java data structures and algorithms understanding the different coding platforms that there are and the best coding practices and testing and debugging right so you will be particularly trained to easily crack all coding rounds of it services recruiters programming mcq pseudo codes writing complete programs everything you will be picking up strong foundational programming skills and you will be easily acing the technical interviews as well one program taking care of so many things guys talking about professional skills you will be trained on gds group discussions pis personal interviews resume building impression management professionalism and communication skills at the end of the professional uh, this professional skill module you will be so strong in your communication skills that you would not lose out a chance to get selected in the company at the end of an hr round right that is what i'm talking about making you 100% ready for placements this is what this program offers and given faces track record these are some important details it's a six month long online program you have a dedicated mentor support a mentor is assigned to every student who takes care of the students and make sure that the student is learning and finishing off the course right face preps platform for ai based interactive learning which means we have brought in the best of technology to help you get trained live interactive session by face prep experts and dedicated doubt clarification support right now This program is valid until 30th April 2020 which means that when you enroll this program you get this program till next year 30th April 2020 so even after the program is ended it's a 6 month long program guys right so even after the program ends you still get access to the videos you still get access to the tests till next year so that every company that comes in for your placements you you will be able to access this program right see 72.7% of face to students were placed with the top 7 IT recruiters in 2018 this is our track record 7 out of every 10 students we got them placed so why don't you prepare with us and prepare with the best in the same course